ingia la jia zake unabarikiwa non stop akili yako inakuwa kama kitu cha michemi ya baraka ambao every day you discover something greater because kuna ile program ya Mungu niliwaambia katika eh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 inasema kwamba haleluya wakati Musa alitoka kwa mlima alifunika nini uso kwa sababu ya the glory aliyopata watu wasichomwe na utukufu but in the new testament jesus has no veil on his face kristo mwenyewe ameachilia utukufu wote utukufu wote wa uso wake ili mtu aone the total glory of the face of god na baada ya kuona hivyo you grow from glory to glory hallelujah haya sikiza ukitaka vizuri there is a way god can put in your mind his level of glory unasikia kabisa mama kubwa sio yale unaona ni mambo that you perceive in god great things now mambo ndio natoa maisha yako today we want to share the word of god are you ready amen your life and god's altar maisha yako na madhabahu ya Mungu how do you live how does the altar of god how does the altar of god in your life lead hallelujah one thing ambao nataka kuambia ni hivi wakati wote jehova amekupatia nafasi ya kuishi na kuwa katika nyumba yake na kuwa katika connection ya his altar Us, now nataka usikize please usiwe mtu tu wa kuhudhuria ibada usiwe mtu tu wa kuishi usiwe mtu tu wa kuonekana tu around but uwe mtu abaye you are product you are product of the altar na hebu tuseme hivi ukiangalia biblia utaona bible ni record ya watu who responded to the altar who responded to god hallelujah watu ambao bwana alitokea na utukufu wake wakahama kutoka kwa ukawaida wao in Jesus name haleluya na wakaingia katika level ya Bwana hebu tutaenda tuprepreto na hii issue ukienda katika 2 Kings chapter 4 2 Kings chapter 4 now let's see a situation about go 2 Kings chapter 4 2 Kings chapter 4 aha i hope you are able to access your bible 2 Kings chapter 4 Second Kings chapter 4 The whole chapter ni record ya uhusiano wa watu waliokuwa na some unique desperate situations walipokutana na nabii wa Mungu Bible nasema hivi Now that is I hope you are there by God's grace Mwanamke mmoja miongoni mwa wake za wana wa manabii walimlilia Elisha. Amen. A certain woman of the wives of the sons of prophets cried out to Elisha saying, "Your servant, my husband is dead." And you know that your servant feared the lord and the creditor is coming to take my sons to be his slaves mzee ameaga na ameaga akaacha deni na wanao mdai baba anasema kwamba aha alikuwa mja mungu na aliye muia aliye muia anakuja 
kuchukua my two sons awafanye slaves but the Bible says Elisha said to her what shall I do for you tell me what what shall I do and then, and then, and tell me what do you have in the house and he said if you check verse 2 verse 2 in Asema Elisha kama ambia nikufanyi nini niambie una kitu gani una kitu gani nyumbani akasema mimi mjakazi wako sina kitu nyumbani ila chupa ya mafuta bwana anue sana you know i want to believe with all my heart hakuna mtu katika nyumba ya bwana atakiwa kukosa contact na mungu ambao itasababisha shida yako ijue mungu wa koelia are you understanding there's no way brother koeche mungu aingie kule kwenu cherondo aingie na iwe kwamba hallelujah in that residence hakujulikani jehovah aliingia something should happen i said something should happen something should happen wakati umefika wapendo watu kubali ukweli wa Mungu tunamtumikia it is where ni jambo la aibu Mungu awe area are we together Mungu awe hapo na iwe kwamba haijulikani kwamba nguvu zake haki yake utukufu wake umeingia I want to say by the grace of the living God it should be known it should be felt. Hallelujah. Now let's let's see the situation. Huyu mwanamke kama Elisha angekuwa tu hapo wasalimiane na aende. The truth is anointing to solve her problem ilikuwa hapo. But you must create point of contact usikae kanisani nisalimieni wapendwa usikae kanisani bila point of contact in jesus name hallelujah Amen. wakati ibaba ilikuwa na chibwa I, I, the, the contractor was a bit careless i don't know what they used to do walichipa wakaribu si wa rain wakaribu contact ya manji na nini na tukawa kwamba kanisa kuna manji and now hatugeka bila manji hatuna manji yetu manji we have to connect na mainline ya city council hapa haya hatugeka bila manji within 3 hours ata sio 3 hours i think 2 hours nilikuwa nimefikiria nikapanga si wala nikawa connected again hello maji kawa connected again nikaenda kwa serikali tukawa connected hata na maji ya serikali kwa hapa boho kwa na hugepata maji ndani ya kanisa kama mfereji wetu haujaunganishwa na mahali maji yako Hatugegojea maji ndani ya kanisa kama hakuna hatua ya kuunganisha kanisa na main supply. Is it true? Amen. Nikaenda paka hapa kwa Dio, nikabwa bisho tukupatia maji, tukachiba. Maji kawekwa ikaza ku 24 hours. Haugetarajia maji ijaye kanisani kama hakuna hatua imechukuliwa ya kuunganisha kanisa na mahali maji natoka. I, uh, do, do, do you understand that? Now, let me do something. It is possible mtu akae kanisani lakini haukuchukua jukumu and yet umeona mahali nguvu zinatoka ya kujiconnect na supply. I have preached for the last for the two years and I know blessings don't just flow. You need to connect. I say you need to connect. I say you need to connect. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day I was in the office 
na pasta moja wa kanisa letu moja western akaniambia bishop uko heli akabia i'm around but akabia napitia hapo siku anajua ametoka all the way kuja kuniona alikuwa nataka kuongea kana kwamba ametembea Nairobi akaona vivia manisalimie and um, nilikuwa nimekaa kwa ofisi nilikuwa mtu ameingia amebeba sijui shati mpya na socks sijui kuna kuwa nini kitu kali member akawekere hapo akapiga magoti akamwambia brother unatakaje bishop nimetoka all the way Jehova aliniambia una unabii wangu. Hmm. Akasema bishop nimekuwa fasting ya siku 40. Maida sauti nilikojea niliambiwa sitanenewa ninje una unabii wangu. Kabe is okay. Ana music una unabii wangu I don't know. Lakini anambia God you, God you have said it. Nipo mwekrea mikono. I don't know what happened. I prophesied for about 15 minutes. Nikimwaga machozi. Mighty prophecy. Kumaliza akaamka akamwambia bye. Tripa na mkutano wa Bishop's Council. Bishop hiyo area akasema hivi. Akasema kuna kanisa moja kwetu within two months imepanuka. Watu wamekuwa wengi imetajirika paka tumestuka kabia which branch kabia ya fulani the pastor who came for prophecy the branch yake ikawa dio kubwa kuliko all branches hata kubwa kuliko ya bishop wao and the church ikaanza kuingiza millions and millions and pastor is powerfully blessed hallelujah You need to tell God God nimekuwa kanisani nahudhuria ibada I need to know the contact because anointing don't just flow in the air it has contact in Jesus name hallelujah one day a young man came to my office alikuwa ameweka pesa kwa diary and the man was very hungry nikamwambia brother hii mia moja si ukule akasema bishop si chakula tagu jana lakini Mungu ameniambia wewe ndio utakula nikamwambia mimi can i bless you akasema stoki office paka ukule ati ni kule hii na bishop usipeane nikamwambia kiataka wewe nunua masiwa sijui it was on a monday na nilikuwa najaa eh hey. mehubiria hapa sadi kona jaa bwana sijui nunua mayai na avocado na nini zikaisha and the brother stayed around me bishop ni wale ya eh akaenda we met later kabia bishop you something several years later kabia bishop can i tell you something when i obeyed the voice ya ile mia nilipata permanent job ktda within a week haleluya akakaa kabarikiwa sana akawa na go down yake industrial area na akaniambia wakati wa kuoa bishop sikusumbua watu na dowry i had enough money how did you start akasema bishop when i obeyed the voice of contact the voice of contact to god be the glory to god be the glory in jesus name hallelujah Bwana Yesu ainuliwe. Bwana Yesu ainuliwe. Now, ukiangalia huyu mwanamke, there was a point of contact. Anaweza no. Mama, una nini kwa nyumba? Sina kitu ila mafuta kidogo. Sawa. That will be the point of contact between anointing ya Elisha and your need. Amnamjia vya aliamboa aliamboa enda uombe container MP. No siombe chache. Omba nyingi kabisa. Make sure there are many as many as you can and they are empty na uweke kwa nyumba yako ujifungie kwa nyumba ya watoto wako. What do I do? Chukua hiyo mafuta dogo. Hiyo mafuta dogo naita dogo chukua. Mimina kwa empty containers 
alipoanza kumimina the bible says hiyo mafuta ikawa haishi tupa inamwaga mafuta throughout mpaka container ya mwisho when the lord asked mama do you have any other container which is empty akasema sina akabwa nao hakuna haja mafuta yengine and akabwa hivyo hiyo mafuta imejaa kwa all these containers eda uza lipa deni na itakao baki raise your family bwana asifiwe bwana sana i say by the grace of god hallelujah the purpose yako kuketi kwa kanisa hapa is not just to worship is to get a point of contact that you deliver your family i say your family must be delivered Hawezi kuwa kanisani mahali bado anatembea hivyo na familia yako inakaa kana kwamba as if God is not around. Are you understanding? To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Nakwambia kuna mambo inaendelea kwako ambao inatakiwa ifike level whereby Hauji naye kanisani unatoka naye hauji naye kanisa kwa kesha unatoka naye unakuja naye kanisani kama huu mama na unaacha kwamba there is connection with anointing and God has said something about it in Jesus name hallelujah Bwana inuliwe sana you know uh there's a lady aniambia kwa habari ya hospital in our church this is one of the ushers and she got that testimony why is miss gesharo i think got that she's around or she's around uh or men or kazi and and she said that aliada kabwa no my sister hapo hapo metropolitan kabwa uko na cervical cancer and what tell you ni vingumu sana uzae wewe is hard for you to survive hello praise god tripo kuja holy communion you know what she, she said ali kusema god speak something about me mimi nikiongoza holy communion nikajipata nikisema kuna mtu amekaa upande wangu wa kulia na aliamboa kuna saviko cancer and god has healed you she was healed instantly na akastoa testimony hallelujah na akaza mtoto mwingine na sasa amepona head chemotherapy anaishi hallelujah don't just be in the church tell god i need point of contact with your anointing kwa maana ni vibaya sana iwe kwamba nimekuwa kanisani mahali Mungu ako na hukuwa na anyway anyway she does angus ni patana na anointing you can't be that way hallelujah hallelujah god does miracles god does miracles kuna kani moja misilika is mama you know tulikuwa tunaabudu hapa and i remember mi siko najua the daughter ako na chronic wood kidoda hapa hakiponi unajua wasitana huficha wasijulikane but nikiwa naomba mimi niona mguu wa mtu uko na kidoda nikasema kuna mtu amekaa pale nyuma akuna kidoda kimekaa muda hii you are healed that's all msara kwa jubani kwenda kufungua likuta imekauka amepona gozi kama ya mtoto anapigia mama simu hapa kama mami si ukuja uone you know why kwa maana hakuleta tu kidoda katika wepo wa Bwana kilo kidoda kilikutana na Bwana Mungu aliyekuwa kwa ibada we need that pigia ni Yesu makofi have you ever known how to relate with the altar hata wada Bwana wanafunzi you can't be in the church unapata dd no no tell god i want this d 
to meet with the God who speaks to me every Sunday. I want this question to meet with God who is excellent and who is powerful. Hallelujah. Nimambia kijana liye kucha hapa kwa ofisi yangu. I didn't know. He was so much in, a teenager. Amesema bishop si odoki. Nika shukulika, nika mpata sabiri usiku. Uh, bishop, I know. I'm not walking away. Bishop, Agaria, tango from two, napata D minus, D, D, whatever, D, D. Become your brother. I know people have some technical answers to this issue, but I don't think there's any technical answer that can, can, can solve this. Kumana ako, term ya muisho, first term, and back only one term, afanya from four. Sasa mepita from one, from two, from three na tamu ya kwanza ya form four meisha. Sometimes you wonder which how, how, which formula? Let's put aside everything because mimi zimu walimu high school mimi zimu walimu wako na nini na nini but mimi au pita liyabia kiwete silver and gold I have none but what I have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk. I said I don't have to come to school my teacher we have been a national school, one of, the one of the best schools in Kenya. You can be a brother. I'll give what I have. I have God with me. I have God with me. And I want to into contact with God. Let it be known. But today, Urikuja Kuniona, and you met with God. Can we believe God? Yes. Can we at least hear this? Final exam. Are you ready? I speak from God. Final exam. Utakuwa na a strong B plus or strong A minus. Utaenda hukuju. Do you believe so? Yes. Kapia iyo madi weka hapo. We prayed. Kutoka form 4. Arinatea baba yake. A minus. Ime back only two points. Iwe A plane. Even today, parents cannot understand. Wazazi walilia, and the boy had another problem, impediment. And the parents were desperate. But God, God is there. Do you know why you have an altar? It's because you should meet with God. What is the meaning of an altar? Let me explain to you. I would like to explain the meaning of altar from the scriptures. Hallelujah. Ukiangalia Biblia katika Genesis, let's say Genesis chapter 8 verse 20. Genesis chapter 8 verse 20. Genesis chapter 8 verse 20. Bible says something. And then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took every clean animal and every clean bird and offered burnt sacrifice on the altar. Verse 21. And the Lord swore. And the Lord smelled the smooth. The soothing aroma. Then the Lord said in his heart. I will never again cast the ground. For man's sake. Hallelujah. Now look at this issue. What's an altar? Anota ni mbahari abapo. Mnaniona? You should bring a sacrifice and you offer it to an extent that God will produce his voice. Unajua, what are the problems to go now? Naniwambia hivi. Namunizikiza vizuri. Are you listening? Is the way you appear before God. Madabau ni mahali watakiwa kuleta thabihu yako. Na ukisha itoa. Hallelujah. Isababisha buwana achirie jabu rarehema kwako. Like now, kama kuna kitu si chezei. Nastaki msa nae. Ni sadaka. Sadaka na fugu la kumi. 
Na mimi huwa nawaambia baba Kingoli mimi ndio mbeba namba 1. Mbeba namba Lilian habari yako. Na niliwapo nafasi ili nikiwakemea mjue sitaki mchezo hapa. Go and check how what I give tithe. Nafikiri ile ka box inaikaa tithe yangu inajaga mpaka inaenda nje. You know why? Wapendwa ni vibaya sana tukae kanisani miaka yote na Mungu akose kuwapia. Ni vibaya. Ni vibaya. I say ni vibaya. There is a way. Ukitoa sadaka sikia hakika nimetoa sadaka. If you check the scripture, Bible inasema Nuhu alitoa nini? Akajengea boa na madhabahu. What did he do next? Have you read the scriptures? Ah, you must read this phrase. You must read the scriptures. You must know what the Bible says. That is Genesis 8 verse 20. Look at how, how, what happened. Bible says, Mia sema vizuri hivi. Buwana, haya, nuhu, nataka mwagali those two verses. Verse 20 inaaza na jina gani? Verse 20. Yeah? Verse 21 inaaza na jina gani? Ah, hagalia. We huku hagalia. Nataka mutu hagalia baibwe ake. See your neighbor. Verse 20 inaaza na jina na nani? Verse 21 inaaza na jina na nani? Ay, siku sikia. Yote di noa? Eh? Eh? Nani ya mekuja bele? Nani ya mekuja badae? Ukiangalia, who has appeared first? Is it Noah or God? <laughs> Nata kuafrisha kitu. Kuna wakati ambapo, wewe diyo natokea na you are sacrifice. And then God appears because of your sacrifice. You know, this is not a secret. Bible says, Mahivi, Noah akatoa the bihu. Ikawa nini yo the bihu? The Bible says, Nu akamjegea buwana madhabahu. Akatoa katika kila mnyama alie safi. Na katika kila ndege alie safi. Akavitoa sadaka za kuteketezwa juu ya madhabahu. Verse 21. Buwana akasikia harufu ya kumulidhisha. Can you say after me? Buwana akasikia harufu ya kumulidhisha. I wish kama, kama ninge kuwa wewe ninge adika iyo sentence somewhere the way it is in Kishwahiri. Buwana akasikia harufu ya kumulidhisha. Hii, imu nugo wa kumu I don't know how. It's a very deep word. Harufu ya kumuridisha. You know, you know the, the Bible is trying to, 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 to use the language yet deeper. Buwana kasikia harufu ya kumuridisha. What did he do after that? Buwana akasema moyoni sita ilani inchi tena baada ya hayo kwa sababu ya onadamu. Maana mawazo ya mwa manadamu ni mabaya tagu jana wake. Hallelujah. Wala sita piga tena baada hayo. Kila kilicho hai kama ni hivyo fanya. What did, what did Noah do? Noah. Hey. Barikiweni. I want to speak something. Do you know who gave the sacrifice? Sauti aboy metoka ni ya noa au ni ya watu wote. The whole world. Can you, can you give a secret? Do you know na weza toa sadaka imurivishe buwana atoe sauti for the home all my family and all my generations. You see, God is releasing a voice and this voice is so unique in this manner. Anasema hivi, 
Sitawahi. Sitawahi. I will not. I will never again cast the ground for man's sake. Somebody represented the whole out with a sacrifice. Irio Munidisha Mungu. Until God gave a prophecy or a promise to cover all of us. Hallelujah. You know, one day, to go and put on my pastors. And the this, I had somebody was calling me. I said, let me, let me, let me go and see. And I, I remember the words of that person. I come to America. Akasema, he he has followed Mambo ya Kagudo Road. Alifata wakati wa Damaris, the covering. Wakati wa YouTube, wanapoweka. Nakambia maneno haya. I still remember. Bishop, nimewai towa the bihu kwa so many projects. Kwa ba, si kutaa kutoa kwa hii until I pray. Adipo, baba na imuambia hivi. Mabwa matatu mane ambao umekua ukiomba kuhusu familia yenu. Those curses, deep curses you have struggled with. Iyo mabwa ya watu kufa kwenu na kansa na nini na witchcraft. Itamalizwa na haya madhabahu. Haku wabua aobe kuna mambo inajibiwa na sacrifice. Kuna, have you seen kuna watu wabao they pray a lot but they have never offered a sacrifice. I say they are prayers. They are miracles. They are healings that you be released. Sikwa kuekelea wea mikono. Itapona because of acceptable sacrifice. Ikatoa harufu. Ilio murivisha. Ni kunyo otora agai. Parakaraja kunyo otora agai. Harufu ilio murivisha mungu. Paka kinyangai. Paka buwana kasema kitu kikubwa sana. Sita wahi. God can make an everlasting vow. Kwa maana kuna kitu metoa in the altar. Kikamuridhisha. That is told me, Bishop, I've come all the way from America. Bwana miambia, I must meet with you. Nikupe kitu ambacho to miss a sacrifice. Nandiambo ni wakire mikono. It's true. Arikuwa, wara wanacherewa wakaya nyuma, please. Wariku, be at this place. Haka nipatia $8,000. $8,000 ni $1 million. Kabe is okay diyo hii. Ka bishop pray. I prayed. Do you know ameomba mea kamigi na amefunga? But I have born now. Kire kitafanya deliverance in your family. Ni hiyo madhabahu na zikewo bishop akitagaza ya kagudo root. And that lady I know from today is enjoying blessings. Hallelujah. Inaito uhusiano wako na madhabahu. Ota has a voice. Mino nagia kanisani unatoa kafe fte hivi. Can you say something? Kuna wakatiba ya mii niliyomba. Na nimezo ya kuomba. <laughs> Na nika wapa guzu sadaka. Kabia God, I'm a bishop. I've served you for all these years. Mugu tu nisaidie. According to you, Holy Spirit, what level of offering should I give? Unajua kuna wakati waza wiza mungu jibwa kwa bia siwe uje bada yagu. Nikabia Holy Spirit weka mwoni mwangu hile sadaka minimum. Nani zamani wakatuo ni sasa kusema matakanse I started giving from 1,000 kwa yuni sadaka. Nikakaka ikafika 2, ikafika 3, ikafika. The other day nilienda kaniza monja nikakuta hile sadaka nikonae haija fika the offering I honor God with. Nikabia mba pastor wa wito watatu please nikopesheni. Because I can't give anything to God. Not anything but what I know. 
should touch God. No, 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 no. Amen. Hallelujah. When you go for interview, they ask you, have you been to America, Canada, Australia, whatever you if you say yes, they just give you a visa. I don't know if you have a visa. I don't know if you have a visa. I don't know if you have a visa. Now, I don't know if you have a visa. 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 I don't know Do you expect me to break a lunch half a cross? Why you ask me to go up? Because I'm busy. Because I'm busy. We're going Where is the museum? Why you ask me? I'm not. You know what you do? I'm not going to go up. Do you expect me? Me, me, no one will hear. Ire kajuist na pewa toto ke gine na 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 biscuit. Because. If these men are not ready to receive just anything, although Hello, praise God. Do you know Kaini Adipoleta Sadaka ya wazao mazao ya ya ya, ya inchi iliacho hapo hakurudi nae but was unacceptable Sadaka ya Anania na Safira si walileta Ramu niambie kwa maana walikufa ili ada wapi ilipokelewa tu huku huku duniani <laughs> You see Nataka mjue. One of the relationship you have with the altar is the sacrifice. Sacrifice ni kitu natoa. Mpaka kinatoa harufu. Kinatoa sauti. Bible says Noah akatoa sadaka ya kuteketeswa. Ikatoa harufu iliyo muridhisha Mungu. Paka bwana akaongea akasema sitawahi. Mm. Hallelujah. From today, go and prepare to appear before God. I say to you, from today, prepare. I say from today, prepare. I say from today, prepare. <laughs> Woo! I see God saying something. Who are you? Watotawake, hawatawai, cause a school fish. Sacrifice can cause God. Anene sauti akuapa. Who you must say? Watoto wake hawataibika. Ifamele. Hallelujah. Hawata kufa wakua vijana. Watakua kwa waze. I bless them with long life. Mabo munaone na fata watu. It's a product of the sacrifice in the altar. I say you need to know the meaning of your life and God's altar. You need to know the meaning of your life and God's altar. I want to tell the truth. That altar, because you may sana. Sometimes my wife is now. You have sacrificed a lot. Hello, praise God. We really, really seek God for this work. 
na ukiniambia atakwambia kwamba very soon there will be a lot of changes not changes of men but changes of god kuna watu watapata baraka kama ya ya, 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 ya noah there are people from after from this stage kuna kiapo kitakufuata not from your side for the mouth of god altar has a great meaning na in time we are raising an altar that altar has a voice na hiyo madhabahu inangoja your sacrifice inangoja nini hallelujah kuna wakati niambia bwana i want to give a million people think ni pesa tuko nayo zingi do you know ni kopa kopa 1500 hapo 1100 you know kama unapolipa high school alliance boys kaguma boys balicho eh hello si unakopa hata loan ndio lipe school fees unataka kujua some of us unakuta umechukua hata hata loan kwa bank just to come before god the way you and offer the right sacrifice hatutoi kile tuko nacho twatoa kile tunajua jehova anagojea i want to repeat it again we don't give what we have we give what we know jehova is ready to receive in jesus name hallelujah na ndio naambia kama tunaenda huko sasa kuna watu ambao hawana pesa and yet and yet <laughs> unakuta umesema una pesa and yet ulijenga nyumba yako ya that million ulijenga choo ya 800000 let me advise you na munisikize na niko pale za bwana you need blessings to follow you na muangalie families about the makazi kwa poor they rarely give sacrifice go follow them to the churches follow them to the altars they rarely give ni family ya watu apa wana uchungu wa vitu to part with a sacrifice is very difficult ni wana watu kwamba ukiweka akiweka mia hapa uchukue tu ununia mtoto maziwa karibu akuue I hope you are not married by such a man unajua uzao wa kaini ungaru huko <laughs> you see kaini musi we musimtuzi kaini kaini hakuwa na shida kaini was a good brother mamba yake ilibikia kwa nani kwa nini kwa madhabahu <laughs> people make mistake kaini hakuzaliwa akiwa mbaya actually he's a very good brother first born problem ya kaini ilianzia wapi the way he appeared before god na ikaubika na bora by the way do you know mugu alifata kain kambia brother my son there is chance to rectify there is chance to solve this issue jesus help this church now nataka muangalie wewe ambao umezaliwa na baba yako naona baba yako aliobaoba ni msikini Uh, no, no. some of these people if you follow them they are product of altars madhabahu either ma- ha, praise god product of altars hakuna family about see your product of an altar msika vile brakaja amesema i knew that baba yake alikuwa mzee very serious with god kuna kazi ilikuja kwenu kesha samani that time ulikuwa kijana mdogo Um, and your mom is so very serious like no and as a pick example bishop karaja ibako kama big bio ana piga baba dogo ni mo kile bag and she speak with authority anajua baba alipo enda aliachoma futa and i thank god for that hallelujah jesus we honor your name jesus we honor your name i pray that now Now we must shut up. We have a chance to be produced. 
We have a chance. Mother boy munaona unajua hii kitu hii ni kitu kikubwa zaidi. Hallelujah. Hii ni kitu kikubwa zaidi. Imam anasikia kangudo in the name of Jesus it will produce another church not not another church katika level ya assembly another church in the kingdom another other brothers and sisters there will be a lot of changes even pastors who will relate with that their churches will never be the same local churches Hajarizni apostolic au ni full gospel au ni deliverance I tell you things are happening naomba tu Mungu wa haki ajulikane God bless you God keep you If you go to Genesis chapter 12 this nataka tuone mababa zetu walio tuzaa katika imani chapter 12 verse verse 7 Bwana akamtokea Abraham. Are you there? Akasema, uzao wako nitawapa nchi hii. Naye huko akamjegea Bwana madhabahu aliyemtokea. In Jesus name. An altar. An altar. Ni pahali ambapo <laughs> ni ishara ni arama ya mahali bwana alitokea mtu. And that's why niliwaambia hivi kama Yehova ishivyo kama Mungu alimtokea Abraham na mahali amemtokea akamjegea madhabahu I believe with all my heart. Kitabu twende bali. This thing should happen. An altar is a place. Abaye ulithibitisha kabisa and in this place God appeared to me. Hallelujah. Kuna watu wa juu hivi. Niangalie niwaambie kitu. Do you know unaweza kuhudhuria ibada? Uhudhuria ibada. Hello praise God. Lakini kuna kutabua madhabahu ambapo Bwana alikutokea. You need to know that. Ni katika madhabahu yale Bwana Bwana alinena uponyaji wangu. Ni katika niwaambia kuna dada moja uh, nilipokea watoto wake hapa. Nikamuliza dada ulizaa lini? Kwa maana mimi mara ya mwisho tulikuwa tunaomba apate watoto. Hapati bwana. Bishop Obea Obea sasa kuna kibra tu kuonana kumbe wakaja tuonani alienda kubarikiwa ameolewa dada wetu dada ameolewa akaniambia bishop kama ulipata alieta watoto wawili unajua kuna mama unazaa unaona mtoto huu na huyo waja achana ni Mungu alikupeleka speed vizuri si baya na wengi nyinyi first born na second born huwa sana sana wako na hiyo maneno hamkujua inaweza tokea namna gani wa kwanza na wapi ni speed sana mnakuwa na mpangilio watatu haya watatu wakiingia i have seen that is some couples not all na yote ni mzuri sasa yeye akaambia bishop siku moja ukienda pre wedding kwa hiyo gazi iko pale kulikuwa na room ya pre wedding tulikutana kamaambia we dada habari yako he uliza watoto si jaza enda uzae just that and from that moment akaza pata watoto moja, bili, tatu. Sasa alihamia akaenda bypass. Watoto wawili wakawa gojwa. Neiba kamwambia 
sasa bahati ni bali siwende pale kuna mama wanaambia watu mama kanisa gine nani mzuri akabeba watoto wake akiwa kwa barabara bypass na bomba iko ndani pale huyu mama ako pale akaanza kupiga duru akasema woi mwambieni huyu mama ako kwa barabara asirete hawa watoto hapa awapeleke kwa bishop wao bishop wao ako na nguvu sana I said no it's not that way the issue is is because wakati huyu mama Bwana alimnenea in this altar. Those are children of this altar. Mama dia ligudua. Waweza hudhuria kanisa. However, but you need to know the altar. Madhabahu ni nini? Altar where God appeared to to you. Amen. I wish he is rich kujulikana. People can become so rich. Unajua watu ucheza ucheza kanisa. Kucheza. Sasa watu kama hao, huu ni gedhaiga. Tulipatana akiwa kijana. Sasa ako na family. Tukipatana ulikuwa na kitu. Tulikuwa tuna pia Azagalia sasa kona gari masomo degrees zimeingia watoto na nini you need to know the altar where God appeared na ujue the anointing that works hallelujah ili ili madhabahu haya ya nene and that's why these days it has been known kwamba watu ambao this is what they are doing satanism satanism now unasikia watu wanaanza kwa initiate na nini satanism uliona walikuwa wameweka makaratasi hiyo kitu hapa kwa hiyo barabara nikaambia chief hiyo ndio yote ilikuwa imetangazwa all over hii bahati nikaambia chief kama una uongo niambie abia askari wa toyo vitu abia wa toyo vitu kabisa abia bishop usiogope si wakopi ni mwezi toleo na zichomwe walikuwa nataka ndikwe mekwa kwa barabara hii yote mpaka kimpaka kimadhi they were announcing na wana target our youth kuna mmoja alikuwa anaigizwa anaambwa jina yako id number wazazi akasema we stay kujiunga na hiyo kitu toeni sawa walijaribu kutoi kakataa no bwana asiwe sana kuna moja hapa alitolea ushuhuda. Unakuta mtu mtu anatawaliwa na mwanaume ambaye ako Nigeria, a master. Mwingine anatawabia anatawaliwa na mwanaume hapa Isri. We are bishop unless ni hame huku. Au munifiche sana. Au bishop ni okoke siwezi epuka wa watu. Wanamtokea hata kwa nyumba, wanamtokea hata bedroom, anamwambia wewe habari yako. And they cause Sasa these days kuna kitu anauliza the moment kijana au mtu anaenda kuwa initiated they ask you una wewe ni wa kanisa gani na batu who is your bishop those two are two, two you know why because they know they know they know i say they know kama madhabahu yako imejaa haki na mafuta it will follow you kijana mmoja alienda kuingizwa akaabwa wewe unakataliwa unakataliwa why damu yako ni chungu sana you have a very bitter blood kwa nini akaabwa tunaambiwa yule bishop wenu alikopeana kwa ule hawagoi mama Yesu Kristo walikopeana kwa ule mwingine we cannot remove you from that one Hatuwezi kukutoa. Haleluya! Mahali bishop huwa alikupeana kwa mtoto mchanga dedication. You are so much in that person. We can remove you. Your blood is bitter. And the boy came and said, "I'm back to the church because of dedication." Haleluya! You need to know the altar. Mahali Mungu alikutokea. It has your blessing. Because this 
Walikuwa wanafia tu ibada, ibada, ibada. Unachelewa na kanisa. Huweji crusade. Don't joke around with your altar. Take your altar seriously. You, I'm saying hakuna mutu anajua the altar and the anointing of the bahu about should be poor and should be cast. You are struggling because you, 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 you don't know. Unachezea. Unachezea sana. Na wambia, check kire kinafanya watu kanisani wae nyuma. Hello, praise God. Najua kuna mtu aliada alikuwa na testimony aliada kuobewa na bishop mwingine kwa mmoja nao tell me why do you fellowship kwa bishop kwa timu akabwa ah, alisema bible aliabua if kama anointing iliona bishop kwa timu haijakusaidia there is something wrong with you go back alirudi tu kwako kama mmoja namuombea ni mtu ambao amefaidika sana na madhabahu haleluya mnasikia kuna mabisha wanakuja wanasema nyinyi watu wa bahati sisi wa nje tutainuliwa sana na madhabahu haya kuliko nyinyi <laughs> kuna mbisho ambaweza kusema hivyo hapa you know why kwa sababu kuna siri kubwa kuna mmoja alikuja kwa ofisi yangu nikaambua alikaa the whole day akasema ataomba na kama sitakuja the following day atakaa hapo about the whole day mpaka nikuje kabia oh, what do you want bishop simple thing hii bahasha nimeambua na Mungu nilete kwako kama baba yangu na nikaambua kiniombea bwana dia tanena mimi nikamuombea and god spoke great things akaenda haleluya sasa unaona na huyu sikuja tu kanisa kuna kitu anadai wewe tumezoea kukaa na wewe tunakaa hapo naenda unakaa na hapo naenda unakaa you need to know all the speaks all the speaks haleluya that's why we need to know how you are alive and goes out Lilies in Jesus name. Okay, all scriptures are full of altars that God established. If you read chapter 12 of Exodus uh, of Genesis, chapter 12 of uh tumesoma hiyo sasa. Uh if you go to chapter 26, there are so many places you can we can refer to. Bible na sema chapter 26 verse 25. Bible na sema Verse 24. And the Lord appeared to him the same night and said, I am the God of your father Abraham. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bless you. I will multiply your descendants for my servant Abraham's sake. Hallelujah. Verse 25, so he built an altar there and called on the name of the Lord and he pitched his tent there and there Isaac's servants dug a well. Hallelujah. Now, takosikize, an altar ni pahala abapo your revelation and your blessings were released. Mahali ambapo neno langu la ufunuo na baraka za maisha yangu ziliachiliwa. Mahali ambapo Bwana nitokea akasema you shall be you shall become I will make you I will do this. Na nikajua hapo diyo nilizaliwa na baraka. Where God produced you with blessings and revelation. Now you need to know that too. Revelation ni mambo ambao inapita akili ya manadamu. Apa huge ya jua kwa jaigine ispokuwa mugu wa oge. I say this, revelation ni mambo inao pita ujuzi wa mutu, ujuzi wa watu, about who gaya jua kwa jia igine ispokuwa mungu aonge, na diyo mambo mungu amekueke na niya akonaya peke yake, akachiria. What God has for you, unique for you, akachiria. Na madhabao ni mahali ya papo, your blessings were confirmed. 
In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Bwana Yesu awabariki sana. Bwana Yesu awabariki sana. Ukiangalia okay, kitabu cha Hagai, now we are finishing now because we'll be leaving Hagai. Can you please proceed to the book of Hagai? I hope you are able to open that book. Ukitoka okay, kure Madayo rudi nyuma Marakai. Kuru nyuma Zakaria. Ukiri okay, nyuma tena Hagai. Hagai chapter 1 verse 3. Je, who do you want? Waninji kukaa katika nyumba za nyamapambo ya bao iwapo nyumba hii inakaa hali ya kuharibika basi sasa bwana wa majeshi asema zitafakarini jia zenu now uh, haya kuna kitu kinaitwa the development of the altar it is a place that should be built, developed, honored, even the structures. Even a vitu viti viake, nyumbayake, bauza mungu, eh, glass zake za kukunywa maji, kuna maua yake, kuna speaker zake. Kuna vitu. An altar should own glorious things. Mahali buwana li kutokea. Mahali buwana li kutokea. Ni pahali that you should build. An altar should be built. Na that's why mungu uhusiana wa your family na development ya altar structures zina uhusiano. That's what God says. Ni wakati wenu wakukand kwa nyumba zimepambwa na bao na nini. Wakati nyumba hii inakaa hali ya kuharibika. Basi tafakarini jia zenu. Now, this one you affect your wish. Uh, kuna watu sijui ni hii hii ukoro ni tulikuwa naye zamani wanaamini kama una guo huwezi vaa peleka kanisani kama, kama kuna mkeka huwezi tumia peleka kanisani kama kuna kitu huwezi tumia peleka kanisani uh, hapa we don't do that kama kuna kitu huwezi tumia peleka kama kuji second magikoba second cloth second furniture second whatever hapa leta kitu umeamua kwamba ni dhabihu that's why katika hekaro ya Yerusalem. Kama ugeda safari vita au safari upate gold. Haukuwa ulipoti nyumbani kwanza. Ulikona report kwa hekaro dio utoe the best gold. Fast fruit. Hekaro dio pahani ugepata kiti ya dhahabu, sahani ya dhahabu, madhabahu ya dhahabu, vitu, vitu kama hiza dhahabu, but the best mahogane, the best wood temple. Na bwana kasema, na nijegewe nyuba inao nipendeza. Wapendo mzizeme mungu hataki madhabahu na arama. Ambwe, unora ya nyumba he, ile nyumba itanishwa na Jehovah. Let it be a smart house. Unora ya kiti, like now kuna viti, kanisani, sometimes you need to destroy and get yet better ones. Kama hii sasa hii, very soon na yondoa. Nivye sitaki wakewa baki wali ya nuwa bila yangu. Sabu nataka hida ambao hapa diyo na wekerea manji. Sabu ni yon, angalia, kuingia hukuto, hata siyo ni maji mahali yuko, unono? I need to get up. This one is out, this one is outdated, although good. Tutaipatia yuthi hapa juu, hii ni asade siku sasa. Madhabao ya bishop, ninikiwa hapa, hapa kuna mahali na eka glass mzuri, kama nukata hori komuna, hapa kuna waka, hama na eka mkate yangu, nikiwa safu, siyo kuinama. <laughs> K- 
kuna wakati kitu kinakataliwa na utukufu wa Mungu. Ukiwa na inama kutoka maji hivi. Unajua already mekatali? Natakiwa iwe hapa kazi yangu ni kuchukua na kunywa na pahali haiwezi anguka. Bible says kitu kinachopendeza Jehova. Amen. Hii meza nimeambia ule afuta itengeneza aje achukue. Alete the best away the night. In fact, I'm I'm nitataka kumta babu ameniambia kuna shida ako nazo nimwambie shida inatoka hapa. In fact, nitamwambia this is what is causing you to suffer. Hii ni paya. Leta ni kuombe. Haya. Let me the truth. Una una kitu kama hii. Uende na shiriki elfu moja. Baba kingoli ya kuambia ile kiti mzuri sana ambayo hezivujika ni ya shiriki miya tisa. Bada ya kununua yu miya tisa mzuri ya bani ya zakaria hata muzea kama ule heavyweight. Na mwingine hapa. Hello? Unanunua ya shiriki miya tano. Arafu na kujosa hallelujah. Nimeletea Mungu kiti bishop niombe nitakuombea lakini uone wewe una tabia anania na kaini Halo nisalimieni nataka kuambia na musikize Haleluya You need to have a night time in the church that speaks in your house Kuna kitu kuna speak umenunua Umeenda America, umeenda Japan ukapata PS ukasema nalieta something that speaks because Hallelujah. Kwamba Thank God. Sasa kwamba uhusiano people forgot siku za Hagai kwamba the temple has relation temple structure not just a not a structures have relationship with your house waliabwa sawa muko na nyumba nzuri but zitafakarini jia inaitwa jia jia zenu means the way you live waliabwa walikuwa na rana tatu ya kwanza gani verse 6 munapanda begu nyingi mukavuna kidogo did you, say, did you see that hagai chapter 1 verse make sure you read it kwa maana labda wewe ndio uko na begu dogo but you see she dawa kristo niko niko toku baba nua how god can bless you muna bible says zitafakarini kutafakari is cross scrutiny ni mtu kuangalia mambo kwa makini. Kwa nini biashara yangu baadaye ya kwenda from glory to glory inaenda chini? There should be something in relation to the temple. There's no way Mungu ametuita kwa maskini. There's something sio uchumi wa Kenya, sio uchumi. Na nilikwambia Mungu ameweka ameweka chini ya uchumi fulani. No way. Bible says zitafakari. It means be very careful get the kidogo and you ponder over issues rudia maisha yako vizuri uhusiano wako na madhabahu uhusiano wako hata na makuhani uhusiano wako na mambo ya nyumba ya bwana it has something zitafakari ndio kumbuke kwa hapa kwa rekodi yako niwaambie sikumbaya ni kuja kuombea watu hapa sasa hii saa hizo siku watu wamejaa hapa ombeo na uhubiri wa pone Nikafikiri niulize Mungu, Mungu. Kuna jambo naweza kosa ah, kosa leo uponya hawa watu. Naweza kuwa nimekosea. Bwana kanikubusha den ya hii cho, baba Kingoli, ya Mifereji ya 1997. Hamkuwa na pesa hukuwa ni kanisani, nikaenda kwa mzee mmoja rudhuri hapa nikamwambia, "Ah, pasta, sina kujua. Beba kila kitu. Sasa tunipo tu Mifereji ya shilingi 1400." 1997, bwana kaniambia you never paid na nikaabua usiombe mtu wa hii kanisa until you clear that nikaambia watu pewe soda na tumaji hivi kahawa walikuwa wengi yeye kulikuwa na gharama 
Nikakimbia rudhuri. I found the shop. Nikapata the daughter to that man. Kabia, can you tell me? Is your dad still alive? Oh, Bishop Dudley tired. Please, please, muambie. Muambie. Mwenye alitukua vitu hapa elfu ine. Hello? Na hakurudisha amelipa. Deni ya mea kaishirini. Can God remind you such a thing? When you sit down kutafakari kidogo. Hello? Kuna jama moja tulimuombea ajazu wa Holy Ghost. Miaka tatu ajazu hii. Na diwana jita kasa. Paka siku moja akatafakari jia zake. Akaenda chini ya muti ya kahawa. Akasema baba. Mimi siyotoki hapa. Akasema kwa kiku. Niki unyu makaroho. Akabua usiku li oliokoka. Ulifanya nini? Dia kadi kubuka. Alidaganya wahubiri. Aliachwa na sigara mbacha kwa mfuko. Na alibuta usiku. Akabua I saw it. And you never repented. Alipo tubu. Ata hakuoba ajazwa. Alijazwa mara moja. Ima pe kukadi. Sazigine tulia. Utafakari jia. Zako. You can't be just poor. There's a cause. You can't just stay for 50 years. Umekwama. No. Sometimes ask God, God, what is wrong? Let me give an example. Kuna kanisa moja letu da jiru. Iyo kanisa, tulikuwa tukira mkutano. Tuna laumu pasta. Tuna wabia pasta. Si tulisema hii. Nina muangalia. Nina una. Hakuna uchungu. Paka. Mishima inatoka. Nika sema I'll go there. Nikada kuhubiri. Nika hubiri. Nika una watu. Nika ama guy. Ni wagumu. Nika ama hawa kanisa. Nika abia Jehovah. I can't just preach, preach, preach. What's wrong? Bwana kaniambia mahali kanisa rajuri mejengwa. Zamani yo area. Siju ilikuwa na wahidi ya unini. Hapo yo ilikuwa madhabahu ya dini. Walio kuwa wenye yo shaba. Nakambia bishop, you have never huja why sanctify the ground. Na hata mwenye uliyacha haku yombea. Unajua niyacha watu wakiyabudu, nikachukua noiti ngoyo. Nika zunguka, nika zunguka, nika yombea. When I came back, nika wana people are now powerful. That day, tulichaka chaga, hawa watu likuwa ato kitaka shiki 50 okapata. Ah, kugumu. Within a week, walichaka 300,000 wakaanza. Now is a big church. Kama kuna kanisa ni mefanya arusi nyingi, ni kanisa la jiru. Oh, powerful church. Sako kukuna haja kuna apana, sitafakari jias. Kama sige uliza mungu, sige jua. Hallelujah. Buwana sifiwe. Praise the Lord. There are families and bazos in the issues. Zina issues. Zina issues. Unakuta baba yako, kuna wakati alichepa kofi babu yako. Naja wambia. Na kama, na alikufa. Sometimes you just repent, God, I repent the sins of my dad. Sitafakari jia zako. Zikiri rohobana kuambie. Because how watu walikuwa wanapanda, wanavuna kidoko. Sini kweli. Haya, ningine. Muna kula, lakini hamu shibi. Muna kunywa, lakini hamu kujazwa na vinyuanji. Muna jivika nguo, lakini hapana aonae moto. Na yeye, apataya mushahara, apata mushahara, ili kutia katika mfuko ulio toboka, toboka. There are five curses. Related, related to the development of the water. Waliyaza waliyaza kujenga wakacha. Bona kasema if you check your ways, mutaona five things affecting you. Sio uchumi wa inchi, sio president, sio nini ni usiano wenu na the way madabau inawekwa. Wakabwa stop all your businesses. And then you kwa mirima. Mukatafute ile miti ya maana. Mukatafute vitu bao za maana. Nyumba yangu kwanza ishugulikiwe. Walipokuwa wakijia.
Sugurika Bwana akarudi na sauti ya pili akasema zitafakareni jia zenu tena au shake heavens in your honor Dhahabu nitawapa tena kuna uhusiano uko naye na what god is doing in the church Unakuja kagudo unaleta kile kimebaki tu Wengine we can't just give kama si tukatoa kile kimebaki tukatoa 50000 Lakini tunaamua unasema Bwana sitatoa chini ya hii kwa sababu yako na kwa sababu ya vile ulivyo na kwa sababu ya jina lako na madhabahu yako ambao haichezewi unapata unaamini 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 paka ile aliambia bwana kwa sababu tukatoa tunaenda kikope nikaambia bwana nipe nikaandika 700000 report hiyo karatasi bwana kaniambia hii last time we took a million nilikupa last time i gave you million how can you go back nikaradua hiyo karatasi nikatupa unajua ni sika mimi kataliwa nilitupa nikaamini bwana sasa hiyo nimeba nimeenda kombena nyingi nimeenda sijui getaro ile tunata nyingi sana nimeenda kwenu kule kitale nimeenda but i nakubuka nilikabla za bwana nikamwambia nikamwambia nilipata hiyo 1 million usiku saa ine. God just made way. Hallelujah. Bwana sio sana. Nimekatalia kwa heshima ya Mungu. Sitaki kucheza na madhabahu. Sitafak. Hawa ni hapa zitafakrija zenu. Mnapanda begu hamkuvuna. Mlivuna kidogo. Mnakula hamshibi. Mnakunywa hamkujazwa na vinywaji. Mnajivika nguo hakuna apatae joto. Hiyo ni fiva, ni magonjwa yasiyoisha. Na yeye apatae mshahara, apata mshahara kama kutia mfuko ulio na maachimo. Lakini wakasema there's no other solution. Nyumba yangu ipendeze mimi. Rudi. Hallelujah. Do you know kuna mtu hapa utaabwa stop what you are doing. Era kana ni tubu. Na na utoe pesa ya kagudo 1 million. Uza bana bana iko wapi? Nitakupa. Tunaanza na wewe saa hii. The moment utamwekelewa sababu God have done your will. Bwana akwambia sitafakari jia zako namba 2. Akwambie I'll shake heavens for you. Baada ya kuna na biashara hivi hivi ambayo imeraniwa. Let me watch and nitafakari jia zangu until I get restored. Hiyo ndio ijiri ya your life and the altar. Your life and the altar. Your family and the altar. Your destiny and the altar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you understanding? Wagapo anaelewa sasa inua mkono juu. Naomba Mungu ninaye muhumbili akufunde hizi siri. Hautakiwi kuwa na madhabahu kama haya. Na ubaki hivi hivi. No. Kwa maana wewe the only you think you do ni kudhuria ibada. We don't want you just to attend such service. We want you to have a specific relationship in two ways, altar and the prophet. That's why kile kilibadilisha mwanamke aliyekuwa na deni ni uhusiano wake na mafuta na Elisha. Ukisoma mbali tulisoma 2 Kings chapter 4, utaona hello praise God Utaona something else you need to know is to perceive the servants. Perceiving the servants. Hallelujah. Lazima in your life. Nemoigwa. Wakaba nemoigwa. Life requires a prophet. Life requires a priest. Yes, I need topic another day. But I can touch a little bit just for two minutes. I know Yesu. Ukiangalia hiyo second key chapter four, kuna mwanamke ule msunemu. Bible inasemaje Elisha Are you hearing this? Alikuwa akipitia hiyo route ya kwake.
akienda huduma na huyu mama angesema Elisha asurutishwe Bible in us Bible I say me Elisha ni mtebelea Bible sema when this woman noticed there is a prophet who passes by akasema never allow that man kupita kama haja kula kwetu hai uishi mke wa dhasa secret haleluya haleluya never allow Elisha kupita kama haja kula kwetu kwa maana imeandikwa atakaye pea na big kikombe cha maji kwa sababu ni nabii atapewa ujira wa nabii whoever gives a prophet a cup of water because he is a prophet will surely receive the reward of a prophet i wish you those scriptures hallelujah do you have a relationship na utumishi wa Mungu do you have that hallelujah eh, mama isema nadiabia watoto njoo mama kila hakuwa naye ni mtoto mvurana alikuwa alikuwa na gaos agabia gaos please and i think they were walikuwa wakubwa wanampasadia kupika kwa maana diwaisadia umama akopatia elija ugali kuna ile tulikula boswana mnakaraja my wife now knows how to cook that one i like it naipenda kuliko ya Kenya you know why watu kama sisi tuwapea kukula haraka tumalize tuna shughuli zingine ya boswana ni nyepeshe ya 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 unamaliza unaenda shughuli zingine hii gine ngumu hello i like it and i'm going there going there for a crusade big crusade end of this month now jesus is lord say my amen mama isema hiyo nyumba kaka hiyo this hiyo nyumba yake nataka msikize No reason I think you saw it in your parents. Kwa baba yako nikaenda kitale. Aganishika bishop. No kinyonyo iko peke ya shai. Wakiwa na baba Kamene. <laughs> no bishop hutarara kwa hotel. You must reside in my house. Kuna watoto ni yeda nyumba moja kama watoto ndio walitupa walitusafu chakula they are trained and they said bishops welcome for dinner and the children served us breakfast before they go to school bishop welcome for breakfast bless us before we go to school i asked the owner of the house, how do, uh, bishop niria bia watoto wangu whenever i get true prophets they must impart something on them hallelujah mama isa mama wewe yabia wasana wake please Don't allow Elisha to pass by. Let him come in. Akule hapa. Elisha alikuwa anakuja peke yake labda na ngehazi. You know nyinyi wa dada ukaribisha mwanume kwa nyumba akule. Is easy to know kama ameokoka. Sidio. Eh? Joyce, sidio. Unapompati kuna mapasto kimkaribisha atakusumbua sana. Unakuta kama mzee hayuko na kuambia habari yako unakaje wadada azusi simu na wajuaga hata kanisani kuna wadugu hezi waambia sidikisha dada fulani usiku unaona kama huja si sema ni mbaya lakini kama haja haeleweki na hana ubaya haeleweki hana ubaya lakini unasi na pia kuna wadada kuna wadada wako na haja lakini tuwaomba wote wabarikiwe na Mungu atukamilishe sababu ya uzima milele Haleluya. Sasa Elisha anakuja na bwa dukata. Kura hii. E dukata. Ana kula na kula na kula but this woman noticed Elisha is not like other men. He is holy. Not only the gifts but the character. Kubokeni what Bishop Timothy told us, the gift will raise you but character will keep you karama itakuinua juu lakini tabia ni thamu haki wokovu wa kweli litakudumisha hapo juu amen until one day the man said 
Musa husband ukataka kujua a good wife huwa anapeana left friends to husband if was a bad wife she never told the devil that she had a husband walikula tuda muzi akaletewa baadaye msiwe kama if unasikia nyinyi ambao wanafanya maboki vya kivya ni kama una mwanaume paka watu wanajua leta kai ni akaona mudu eh mama alisema mrs musae the man who passes by akienda huduma i now know he is a holy man of god na tumejekea kanyumba juu tuweka kiti na taa hallelujah uhusiano wako na the priest the prophet hakuna mtu anabarikiwa kama hana mafuta anaheshimu nasema no one is blessed kama huna mafuta unaheshimu naongea kuhusu baraka bara mimi nimekaa na mp na ma ministers and sometimes when you sit with them kama kuna kikao ambao nimekaa unakaa na mp fulani unamsikiza una unasikia surely these people are at the shida unasikia this man a a a kwa maana kile yako nao ni mali ambao haina ina huzuni did you know god says his blessings you make you rich na utajiri ambao atakupa hauna huzuni i'm talking about riches that are blessing with no sorrow jabra pili baraka za wateule ato kifa zitabaki na vizazi na vizazi na vizazi that's why mwanamke msamaria agesema kizima ni cha yakobo bwana sio sana Now this and, and you know what happened that woman alipoisha Elisha Elisha alipolala kapia gazi umo na muke apewe nini because the anointing you you honor we will seek for your needs I remember when I went to America go consecrated bishop that statement alisema until it cost a difference akasema the anointing you Honor, it will bless you nikamwambia if you have said it bishop i want to release the anointing i have to these people nikaanza kuwaombea na hapo ndipo within six months they became so blessed wakaruno wa four four and half it's two and half acres in a big temple i say hallelujah you need to know hakuna madhabahu about haina mafuta about watakiwa kuheshimu na mafuta haikufuate that's why Elisha alipolala what happened i say manini by the way sio mwanamke alioba mtoto ni mafuta aliyoheshimu ilimpa mtoto i say friends there are needs you don't need to struggle with kulia miaka yote there are needs that are solved by the anointing that you honor Nasema kuna shida zitamalizwa na mafuta unaoheshimu. Kanisani kuna watu ambao unashidwa. What do you do with them? Kwa dugu moja alituacha. Na nikasikia, ai ni kama hakuelewa. Nikaambia watu. Ha, nikasema ninasikia nina baraka za huyu dugu na watoto wake. I wish age kuja tu asiseme kitu niseme tu abarikiwe nasikia kuna kitu ningeachilia unajua sisi tukikaa kama tusikia na kitu anaza achilia kwako unasikia iko lakini mwenye anatakiwa kupokea na cheka cheka ovyo ovyo hana seriousness unasikia guy big in we get kelia ndugu hako kuja tulikutana baadaye bali na ikipia kaza brother what happened so bishop actually what happened Mwanamke mmoja alitokea hapa mwanamke alibai nilimhurubia akiwa kahaba hapa bahati. Saba guy bishop. No unajua mzee fulani eh alipoenda mke wake akawa kahaba. Watoto wakawa walevi, watoto wote waliokuwa very bright. Very bright children. They all ran away in their ways. Mama yao akafa. Nyumba kaisha, mzee akatoroka. Sasa nimpata pahali akona mke mwingine watoto sijui watoto saba sijui alichukua wapi. 
uh, Bishop, I'm looking for you. What happened? Bishop, I'm looking for you. Nikasikia kulia. Musikubali watu kanisani ambao hawajui heshima ya mafuta. Nasema mke wao anawaambia no way. Usikubali maongeo ya msaha kanisani. Usikubali kuwa na akili ambayo ina msaha. Sisi tumekaa kwa huduma. Mnasikia nikiwaambia naenda kubariki bishop fulani mgojwa tumchagie pesa apone. Ni mabishop ambao walikuwa bere yangu. Hata kama hawakuhubiri sana, I know the anointing I honor will bless me. Just to make a return, my bishop was there. Come and sit. We are going to pay as a bishop. We are standing. Tum bali kabisha. Aseme tu bishop bali kwa. Iyo peke yake. Mafuta unao heshimo. Diwa takudumisha. Nata kudumisha. Tau bali kwa. Iku katu ku kambi akayote me akayote me akayote. Nakubiri harpa huju heshima mafuta. Iko nishida. When ku katu chini na danjubani. You need to know them. How how can I tap the anointing? The cinema, when I'm going to go to the cinema, I don't know. I now know this is a holy man of God. And this person can cause blessing. And the pastor, me and I want to be in the cinema, I want to go to the cinema. 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 Na watu wetu na akaenda Gehazi akaulizwa sasa nitafanyaje na nasikia mafuta inatafuta mahitaji kagua akasema Elisha hana mtoto mvurana hana yeye mabia kuje akaabua mwaka ujao majira kama haya utakuwa na mtoto ambao he will be a boy si mama aliomba ni mafuta aliyoheshimu ilimfuata kuna mambo haitatendeka kwa jingine itatendeka kwa hiyo jia you need to know you need to know i say you need to know uhusiano wako na madhabahu ya Mungu aliye hai you need to know and that's why today tumetaka mambo ya kagudo nawaambia nikiwa pesa Mungu there will be a lot of change very soon hapa kuna watu mutakuwa muna wangalia mashidu wa kai. Huu ni ule. Because altar reproduces. Altar raises. Na altar haichezewi. Amen. Na nivizuli mujue heshi maya mafuta. Kama siwezi patia pasta, maji ya kukunywa na kikobe ya plastic. Hata munga hawezi kunywa na maji na mna hiyo. You need to know the honor of God. Leo tunaenda umeweka tu shiriki chiki gritano mtoto lipia school fees ya 2000 chao umejenga ya 1500 covenant 50000 na kuambia haiwezekani haiwezekani uhusiano uwe hivyo Mungu anatakiwa kwanza apate hiyo 1500 amen utimize covenant hallelujah Umabia bwana sasa ni wakati wangu nitimizie. And God you do it gloriously. Na Mungu nawaambieni madhabahu hukunenea wewe na uzao wa. Sinua si mbona mambo ya Noa? Simgali hapa. Asemaje? Sitawahi haribu. Sitawahi. Those are the words you need. Nyumba ambao haijanenewa na madhabahu. Watoto ambao hajanenewa. We need now the voice of the altar bwana. Tota kuona watoto wako wamefuatwa na kiapo ambao Mungu aliapa ulipotoa dhabihu ikamuridhisha Mungu I like the word ikatoa ik harufu iliyomuridhisha Bwana until God pronounced a blessing that you never sees Ili tushishi maisha ambao we are struggling with the world we are supposed to take dominion Tushishi maisha ambao we are struggling with business we need to take dominion Tushishi maisha abao, tunastragu kulea watoto. Tukiwalea hawaoi, hawaolewi. Wegeni kama wahazai. No! Something should change. Kama
kama mafuta ninenea mama ambaye hana mtoto mvurana it can speak to your situation kibisheni madhabahu mahali na wapereka na utoke na sauti hapo that you always reign in your life may god bless and keep you mukutali sasa twende kwa madhabahu yale na kama ulikuwa na msaha usiondoke kabla hujatubu na uandike pesa ingine wabia nilikuwa nimeandika 20 but i know the god about bishop amehubiri so mchezo huu na ufundisha watu wako amen bwana ulikuwa wa 2000 na munga amekubariki na mamilion hapana how can i have this angalia vizuri nimejenga nyumba ya 2 million nikajenga ingine ya 4 million nikajenga ingine ya 3 million nikatelea Mungu covenant ya 20000 huo ni mchezo hata wewe hiyo mahesabu haiwezekani <laughs> itakutaipokea tu but when you go back to prayer utashaga nilikuwa bwana amenipa 50 million fungu la 10 5 million kwa hiyo pesa milioni bili milioni tatu nataka kutoa covenant there is no way utatoa uumwe no kisikio natoa kitu kwa Mungu aboki na kugarimu inaitwa sacrifice kuna tofauti ya offering na sacrifice sacrifice ni kutoa kitu kinapita uwezo wako kwa sababu unaibada ya baraka unatolea Mungu Mungu wa milele wabariki Mungu tayari kutoa millions Hakuna mtu hapa hayatoa million kama utajua Jehovah ni nani. Amen. Do you know mimi kuna wakati nilikopa nikaliba baadaye. Nikaambia Bwana I can only borrow nitoe. Niache sasa nimetimiza agano. And brothers and sisters blessing for Lord so much. So much kwaba hallelujah. Mama mengine wapendwa magojwa mapigo vita vya mashetani you don't have to struggle you don't have to struggle you don't have to struggle unakuta mtu ameenda kwa wachawi na but don't joke around with that one hallelujah bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe mtu anakuambia for the last five years bishop nimejaribu kukuua but you always covered You know why? We live a life whereby we have registered favor with God. Nilimheshimu Bwana. Neno likatimia. Hapo ndio katika chapter Samuel inasema anayeniheshimu nitamheshimu. God akona equation. He who honors me, I'll honor him. Usi usidai heshima kwa Mungu ambao hukumpa usidai heshima kwa Mungu aba hukumpa na ingine usidai heshima kwa Mungu aba hutampa na dai millions ambaye Mungu hatapata heshima hapo utapata Mungu nataka kunibariki i want to honor you ukiomba hivyo hakuna mtu hapa hata sio milioni billions because of the desire to honor God the way you know him zamani tuweza kushukuru Mungu shataba kataraba kushikere bakushita baka Rike poko sata paka shataraba nataka kila mtu kibinafsi ogea na Mungu usiyo maneno yo in your own way bila mchezo ogea na Bwana mabwana na unaosicheze na usitembee tulieni speak to god seriously speak to god seriously speak to god seriously jesus is cry my shut up inua mikono mwambie bwana i now know you are great i now know you deserve a great honor i now know who you are my god my god my god my god my god ndererere yo raba katara raba Jesus I honor you I honor you I honor you Lord in your mikono kwa Bwana Wapendwa you are so great in the kingdom We don't 
struggle na imambo ya kangudo the way we are if you honor god waambie bwana sio pesa uko nao waambie bwana nataka kukuheshimu na million tutamalizia bank na tununue hata uwanja mwingine na muone madhabahu imejaa sio kwa sababu ulikuwa na pesa lakini ulitamani kumpa bwana heshima yake bwana akakuinua kiwango hicho sio kwamba ulikuwa umejiwekea but you desired to honor god and his altar dio madhabahu inene all your life and generations my bwana i want to honor you lord make way for me dada wote angai kwamba hutakuja mbele za Mungu that's the way you are utakuja mbele zake the way he is i'm saying you are not going to appear before the lord the way you are you are going to appear before the lord the way he is because you know his honor you know his glory we know his level we know we know we know we know ho yanda makatapa kile kilifanya habari abarikiwe alitoa dhabihu akijua jehova ni nani kile kilifanya solomon abarikiwe alimchichia bwana dhabihu ya ngombe elfu moja paka jehova akamwambia ask what you want kile kilifanya noa abarikiwe alitoa dhabihu ikatoa manukato ikamridhisha bwana paka bwana akapa kile kilifanya abraham abarikiwe alitia gano paka bwana akamwambia kuona kwamba hukenizuia mtoto wako wa pekee isaac i now bless you exceedingly wakati mungu alijua abraham hagezuia his own son god made a vow and said from today i'll bless you with a vow nitaapa kukubariki mtumishi wangu i rebuke satan i rebuke satan i rebuke satan i cast the works of darkness i destroy strongholds of antichrist nagamiza gome za anga ufaume wa kuzimu na wangamiza nagamiza misingi ya laana misingi ya thambi misingi ya unafiki misingi ya giza misingi ya utumwa misingi ya thambi iagamie iteketee damu ya yesu itawala ikanisa father bless this church I want to say something. Nani anasikia sasa? Kuna jambo Mungu amekutia moyoni mwako ambao hujaifikiria beleni. And you want to honor God. Nikitaka kumwambia Bwana wakati umefika, nianze kukuheshimu. Na niamini madhabahu ya Kagodo Lord unanitumia and God I want to honor you in that altar not the way i am but the way you are ukienda vile ulivyo kipimo ni chako na kipimo ni cha kwako ukienda vile mungu alivyo can i tell the truth not that you have money but god atazama moyo unaotaka kumheshimu and god you raise you kwa maana ameona moyo ambaye aizatumia god can give you that million the way we are we are enough hata kuiwekea hapa to be a bank ya equity cash we are through with you now we want now to be my crusade we are through with you and i tell you when we give it utashaga vile moyo wako na mikono yako itabadilika tutaanza tuseme machakos town tununua ingine twende kitui town twende muranga town twende nyere town twende kampala twende all over kitabo twende bali this will be a celebration church a church about hallelujah Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Kanisa ambao linagoja wa binguni lipeleke mavuno. We will be a church that God is waiting for. When God you parade, Bwana ataweka kwa laini watu wakipewa taji. Tutakuwa kanisa ambao linagojewa kwa hamu. Pokaambia kanisa ya Korintho, don't you know that when I get to heaven you shall be my crown of joy when i see you around oh jima shatabaka in kanisa about families will never be cast 
families kutakuwa hakuna mtu hata olewa wakati ufao hakuna mtu hata wakati ufao hakuna mtu hata aishe katapa kasa bible inasema tukiweka msaha kando na tuache vikundi vya msaha don't associate yourself with brethren ambao wana msaha usikae kwa njia ya wakosaji upendezwe na unabii upendezwe na sauti ya Bwana upendezwe na Bwana Bible yasema you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers ambao inazama tuda yake in its season wakati wa kuolewa kwa ukifika unaolewa wakati wa kutajirika ukifika unatajirika wakati wa kubariki watoto wako ukifika unawabariki unazama tunda kwa majira yako i say in jesus name may this come to me and to you umeamua unasikia you want to honor god na ugetaka very soon even today kutoa kitu mbele zake ambao kitamridhisha because altar speech umesikia kabisa Mungu amekunenea ina mikono mbili juu ni kuombe kama hujaamua usinue baba kama uishivyo milele Mungu ambaye tunaogopa na kuheshimu Bwana aliyeko alikuweko na atakuweko wewe ambao ni wa milele ni wa milele and you are forever established bere zako na jipubana kwako mimi na kila mtu aliyeamini kwamba leo and very soon you are using us as an instrument tumetamani kutoa dhabihu tumetamani kutoa sadaka ya kuteketezwa tumetamani bwana kukutukuza vile ulivyo tumetamani kuonekana mbele zako vile bwana ulivyo na sasa katika jina la Yesu naangusha kila ngome na funja kila nira ya giza migizi mashakabo misigo ya giza misigo ya shetani mishigo ya dunia mishigo ya mapepo iliyo mambegani na hiyo ndoa kwa uwezo wa damu ya Yesu and from today from today from this hour we release this church to the glory of God to the glory of God to the might of God Bwana from today neno hili lio ufunuo unaowaka na Bwana amesema neno lako litakurudia paka lizae matunda I declare hundredfold production hii neno in this church in my life na maisha kila mtu aliyopokea damu ya Kristo ifunike maisha yetu ifunike kazi zetu ifunike dhabihu tunaoenda ka good road damu ya Yesu damu ya Yesu Kristo 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 in Christ we pray and believe Amen. Katini sasa. Oh, thank God. Leo tumekuwa na ibada moja. We know we have four services. Saa 12, saa 2, saa ina saa sita. Najua wengi wako kule wengine mmejaa huko, wengine wako kwa hema kule. Now, I want to make just straight announcement. Takaso la kwanza, you are blessed. Are you all blessed? You see, nimehubi mambo ya ota. As far as you are under this anointing, na sio tu kwa ada, umejipeana ada 8 na umejishikamanisha naye. Utashaga how devil you fear you. Do you know you can only ukienda utadhibitika because of that. Now, jambo lingine ni kwamba ah uh, tukitoka